In this tutorial 18, we will cover energy equation. If we apply the Reynolds transport theorem and the first law of thermodynamics, then we obtain an energy equation. And we apply these conditions, then we can simplify the above integrals. But we are usually more interested in the energy laws. To speak of that, we have to consider only the mechanical energy. It is because any viscous effect will turn mechanical energy to heat so that we take away the internal energy. And the resulting mechanical energy equation can account for energy loss. Furthermore, if we take away the work input and the energy loss, then we obtain the Bernoulli equation. So the mechanical energy equation is often called as the extended Bernoulli equation. Although the mechanical energy equation is now taught before the midterm, it will be used extensively in chapter 8. These two quantities here are measures of energy loss. Remember that GH has the same unit as energy per unit mass. Then people speak of head loss that has dimension of length. Also, V squared divided by 2 is the kinetic energy per unit mass. So that people compare the energy loss with the kinetic energy with a dimensionless number called the loss coefficient. You will learn more about that in chapter 8. As I already mentioned in the first tutorial, we can determine the flow direction considering the energy. So let's label this as point 1 and point 2, and we assume that the flow direction is from 1 to 2. And we let this as h1, this as h2. So we have p1 equals gamma h1 and p2 equals gamma h2. And we write down the mechanical energy equation. And this term becomes, about this term, we have to consider A1V1 equals A2V2. But now A1 equals A2, so this cancels out. So we must have V1 equals V2. And this term becomes zero. And we plug in the values. Point 1 is 1.5 meter above point 2. So that is negative 0.5 G, which is more than zero, and that is impossible. So we have made a wrong assumption, and the flow direction should be from two to one. And the corresponding energy loss is negative of negative 0.5 g, that is 0.5 g. So the head loss is just 0.5 meter. And then we work on another quick example. So we label this as point 1 and this as point 2. And we quickly write down the mechanical energy equation. So for the pressure difference and for the velocities, For the mass flow rate. So we plug in the values. And we have the head loss equals energy loss divided by G. So that is. And we are done with this example. Finally, let's do an all in one example. That is, to include the linear momentum equation into our analysis. Here we have three sections, two going in and one going out. And there is no force acting on a water jet. So let's set our coordinate system like this and apply the linear momentum equation in the X component. See, this is going out, and this is going in. Now we get the expression for u1, u2, and u3. First, u1 equals zero, since the x component of this velocity is zero. And u2 equals v2, since this velocity points exactly along the x direction. And u3 equals v cosine theta. Since we can break this vector into two components, and this points along the x direction. And we 
and we will eventually to get the first equation. And we repeat our procedure for the y component. So this time this goes away. And this becomes V sine theta. So we get another equation. And let's define the second equation by the first equation. So we get tangent theta equals and we expand the mass flow rate so theta is just so we can obtain theta after solving for theta we can solve for v so we have to calculate for this guy and this guy first So that we can now plug in the values. Now we can determine the energy loss. And we expand the useful energy. And this shall be a negative instead. Since the flow is horizontal, point 1, 2, 3 has the same elevation. And this term goes out. And also, point 1, 2, 3 are exposed to atmosphere. So also they have the same pressure. And we are left with this. And we plug in the values. And we are done with this example. So today we talk about energy equation and more importantly the mechanical energy equation as a tool to find the energy loss. Also we read through three examples about energy loss. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial and thanks for watching. Feel free to ask us any questions and give us any feedback in the comments.